Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Weather-wise, it is just absolutely gorgeous out here. We've got some clouds, a cloud line just off shore, just moving north along the coast. The temperatures, oh, 75, around 75 degrees right now. I'm expecting a high, oh, around 83 today. Water temperature is 75 right now. Unfortunately, we've got some red tide out here. So looks can be deceiving. Isn't that beautiful with the clouds out there? Looks like we've got some dead fish all along the beach again this morning as well from the red tide. So not a good day to come to the beach if you got allergies or any kind of respiratory problems. I'll take a walk down to the water here. See what we find this morning. Maybe we'll find some interesting shells. There's been a little bit of wave action over the past few days. And I can kind of, I can feel the red tide. See, there's a dead mullet right there. A couple dead fish on the beach already. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to spend out here. I'll walk south for just a little ways. See what we find, if anything. You know, there's a feather from a seagull. One of our local feathered friends, the seagulls. much high tide right now so all, a lot of the good shells are still out in the water here it's beautiful out here for the red tide. I love seeing those clouds. This is Area 4 at Del Norwegans.
red tide isn't keeping everybody away from the beach. Morning, how are you? I'm not really seeing a whole lot of shells along the beach here. Yeah, there's a dead catfish on the beach. I've been seeing quite a few dead fish along the shoreline here. Sad, sad, sad. Not seeing any new shells. The shit, there's some piles of shells, but they've been here for a while now. People have really gone through these. There's one of our couple mossy arc shells here. Two little mossy arcs. You can see how they can vary in shape and size, the mossy arcs. There's a little tiny piece of finger coral down there, just a small little piece. Well, I think I'm going to turn around, head back up the beach, see what we come across. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some dolphins this morning. It's been a while now since we spotted our dolphins. Hopefully we'll see Roy. In with Roy, see how his concert went last night, yesterday afternoon. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, sky. A mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. A mile of beach with no homes or condos along the shore. Nobody up on their balconies with binoculars and telescopes spying on you here. Just me with my camera. <laughs> People are looking at the dead fish on the beach, wondering what's going on. They do have a sign right at the front gate warning you of the red tide. The red tide and the dead fish.
really peaceful out here. I see Roy up here. Looks like he ran into some members of his fan club. There's, you can see the dead fish here. There's the dead fish over here. Another one over here. These are catfish. A couple more over here. What a shame. Seems like this red tide has been hanging around here for quite a while now. Longer than usual. Pretty little scallop shell down here. These pink ones are so neat. That's a nice one there. That's a really nice looking little pink scallop. Good morning. So sad seeing the dead fish on the beach. Well, there's a big one. There's a big catfish there. find some interesting shells there this morning. Just never know what you're going to see when you come out to the beach in the morning. Every morning it's different. There's a worn out fighting conch. A twisty. That is so cool. Those are so neat. When you look at the inside of the shells there. Florida fighting conch shell. Captain Hazi moseying down the beach towards me. I don't see any ospreys in the nest up there. There's the nest right up there in the top of the tree. I don't see any heads. Oh yeah, I do. I see one in the center of the nest. It must be the female up there. There's an old whelk shell down here. Wow. Look at that. That's cool looking there. That's an intro. I'm going to keep that. That's pretty neat looking. An old worn out lightning well. Look at that. That is really cool. Hey, if you're new to the beach walks here, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. what it's all about here everybody getting to know each other I love the little conversations that go on here in the chats hey Rob how are you doing this morning free hugs yeah, the chick I, magnet oh and it seemed to work pretty darn good is it good working too. oh yeah is it ever <laughs> I love it yeah <laughs> all the fish are coming up on the beach to hug you I see well it isn't the fish that I <laughs> like hugging <laughs> Hey, how you been, man? Good. How was your show last oh, night? Oh, it was terrific. Oh, it was just, just absolutely wonderful. Yeah, did you have yeah. a good, good
Good crowd? Yeah, good group. And they're really with us. And uh, we even got a standing ovation. Oh, right. Two, two standing ovations. That was really something. Well, there you go. Yeah, it was, it was a real thrill. So do you all have, you have little snacks afterwards, a little get-together well, after your show? Well, shows? yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, at the at the place, it was the top of the tower there. In fact, you can see the tower. Oh, really? From the end, we are up on the 17th floor, and you could go out on the veranda there and look. Holy mackerel, you could see all over the place. Oh, I bet that was a nice view. You can even see the beach down here. Oh, really? And then afterwards, they had some little cheese and wine there, right at the place where we sang. You know, nice. they had it for the for the wine. audience, and then afterwards, we imbibed. And then after, and then we went, uh, Ruth and uh, Jerry, her husband, you know, the director uh -huh. was Ruth, and, uh, and we went to... Um, uh, along with um, Jenny, uh, we all went, another lady from the choir, Joanne, we went to um, Sweet Tomato. Oh, your favorite place. <laughs> and a big, big meal and hooped it up. So it was nice. really good, great evening, great evening. I wonder if, did Jennifer Ann get any video, you think? Yeah, you know, she, she took did? videos of everything. All right, well, hopefully she'll put that yeah. on Facebook and yeah. everybody can yeah. see the choir. Say, I'd love to get the pictures of this. I never seem to get it on my email anymore. Are you sending it to me? Yeah, you get. You should get emails every day. Because you tagged in there, unless you don't screwed get, up your computer. No, I get a lot of email, but I don't get any from you. Huh. Huh. Well, we'll have to see about that. Shoot them to me again. Yep. Hey, uh, maybe I can get a hug here. I'll work on it. Maybe, you never yeah. know. <laughs> did you see my shirt this morning? Oh, I did. <laughs> is it, it going to work? Um, so oh, there you go. <laughs> Good morning, love dear. it, Roy. I love it, love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> He's advertising this morning. <laughs> That's great, Roy. I think I'll wear this all, yep. all the time. The shirt is working, Denise. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to wear that more often. <laughs> Oh, it's a glorious day, isn't it? It is, other than the red tide. Ugh. Yeah, I got a little, my eyes burn a little this yeah. morning. It's probably worse down the end there. And there are some dead fish, not oh, a whole yeah. lot, but yeah, it's coming. I guess, have you seen any dolphins lately? No, there was one down at the end. Oh, there was one this morning? Yeah, so the and red, some red other tide people said there were away. a group of them. Oh, really? Out. I didn't see that, but oh, maybe they'll come I by this morning. one at the end there. Where's all your stuff at? Oh my job. Oh, there it is, the up on the, there. I, under the tree. I sit up in the shade up there. I'm going to walk down there. I'll catch up with you here on the trip back, all right? Hey, good, Rob. Always wonderful always, seeing always you. Always look forward to hearing uh, something profound. Oh, a word of wisdom? Of some words of wisdom. You got that right. So we'll be well, back for that. Well, I hope I'm not running out of wisdom. I think you've got a lot of wisdom. 93 years, you've got a lot of wisdom to share. You'll never run out. Well, there's been a few lessons, yeah. Oh, I love that shirt. Go put it to good use. Walk down the beach. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's two two young gals laying there that look like spring breakers. Oh, well, when they're laying down, it's hard to hug them. <laughs> Maybe they'll jump up for you. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> <laughs> I'll know. But you'll be a happy man if you get a hug from them. <laughs> See you later. See you in a little bit. All right. Free hugs from Roy today. He's advertising. <laughs> Come on, ladies, get out here. The heck with the red tie. Oh, Roy, he is a character, isn't he? Let's see what he comes up with for us later today, what he's got to share with us. You never know. It's going to be a funny story or something really interesting or profound. He always manages to come up with something, though. I'm just going to walk up the beach here towards Wiggins Pass. See if we find anything interesting on the beach. There's another old conch shell. I haven't seen any whole conch shells. Seen a lot of worn conch shells this morning on the beach. There's a little 
no egret. Out looking for his breakfast. Little waves breaking on the shore. Hopefully this wind's gonna change direction and just start blowing out into the Gulf. Get that red tide, blow it out of here. Well, there's something. Here's the arm, one arm of a nine arm sea star. That's the arm of a sea star, a starfish. Their arms will break off, kind of like a lizard's tail, a gecko's tail. It's kind of you know, to get away from a predator or whatever, and then they grow back. But this is an arm that broke off of the sea star. I wonder if another sea star will grow out of this arm. Wouldn't that be something? I saw one dolphin down here this morning at Wiggins Pass. I'm jealous. I haven't seen any dolphins for a week now. Well, I take that back. I think it was last Monday where we, Roy and I, or was it Sunday? I forget. Roy and I sat down at the pass watching the dolphins one morning for about a half hour. That was, a, that was quite a show they put on for us. Really had a good time doing that. But that's the last time I've seen them. I can't remember when that was now. Time flies. Time goes by so fast. Seems the older you get, the faster time goes by. A lot of seaweed along the beach too this morning. Well, I'm not coughing and my eyes aren't burning, but the red tide is definitely here. I don't know what they're doing here. They're doing some kind of surveying of the beach. You can see these two poles that they drove into the sand. I don't know if they're measuring how much erosion we're having here or what. <coughs> There's a whiff of the red tide. Woo. When you get a whiff of that red tide, you know it. Morning. You want to learn about red tide just google red tide and you'll learn all about what red tide is what causes red tide it's actually an algae bloom there's a big old catfish there no, they're dead. We've seen a lot of dead catfish on the beach. A lot of catfish this time. That must mean the red tide's deeper because I think, believe the catfish are more of a bottom fish. There 
There's quite a few of them on the beach. A whole bunch of little sandpipers up here ahead of me. Just running around right on the edge of the water. I don't know if you can see them. All up here running around the little birds. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. Oh, here's a nice piece of coral here. It's a pretty nice piece of finger coral right there. Morning. Well, not seeing a whole lot of shells on the beach this morning. Again, it is pretty close to high tide here. The tide's on its way out, but it is pretty high right now. So the shelling is not the greatest at high tide. So here we are up in area five, at the north end of the park. Those of you just joining, this is Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. See some people are starting to add some shells to this tree right here. I need to hang a shell for our friend Tammy. Sad day for her today. She's going to be putting her dog down today. That is awful. All you pet owners, you know what that's like. It's terrible when you lose a pet. I know our dogs, when our kids left the house, our dogs kind of replaced our kids. We've got three dogs. It's going to be horrible when they leave us. I'm going to find a nice shell. You know what I'm going to do? I found this beautiful whelk shell, this old whelk shell. I'm going to hang that on the tree for our friend Tammy in memory of her pup and best friend. Got to find a nice branch here. You know what? I'm going to go back to that other tree back here. It's a little more secluded. Find a nice branch to hang this on over here somewhere. Let's see. I want to find a place kind of not out in the open where somebody will just come along and take it off the tree. People do that all the time. They see these shells and if somebody puts a nice shell on it, they take it off the tree. They don't understand that these shells have a lot of meaning to people. It's not some kind of fad. Where's a good branch? 
That's a solid branch there. Pull these off here. <coughs> well, red tide's getting me. This shell is for your for your dog, Tammy. I feel so bad for you. It's horrible when you have to put your pets down. There's a beautiful old lightning whelk. Let me see if I can get get it on this branch here. Hopefully I can. Ah, that's not gonna work. I'm glad it broke off there. Here we go. We'll just get it right in there. There you go. Come around. And there it is, right there. That's your shell there, Tammy. I'm gonna take a quick picture of that for Tammy. Hang on folks, the feed's gonna stop for a minute here. Sorry about that folks. We're back now. All right. Let's move up the beach a little further. Check out Wiggins Pass. There's a little snowy egret. Another little snowy. Gonna catch something here. Pretty rough. It's amazing how they can see the fish swimming out there in the, with the waves, but they do. Up, oh, off he goes. We got all the shells on this tree. It's amazing how many people are starting to come out here and hang shells. Look out into the gulf here. Out at the end of Wiggins Pass. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see had a lock up there. You can see the barge. Looks like they're gonna be doing some dredging in Wiggins Pass here. That's the barge that, with the backhoe that they used to dredge out the pass. It's about time. Pass is really shallow right now. I don't know if I can zoom in anymore. I'll see. Yeah, it's about that's about as tight as I can get there. The dredging barge. few years ago that backhoe in the middle of the barge we had a big storm and the backhoe fell off into the water that was a pain in the neck getting it out of the water you can see it's pretty far out there it's right out there <clears throat> Definitely got another whiff of the red tide there. Ugh. Some of the trees in Irma blew over here. Let's 
is the very north end of the park here, Area 5, up by Wiggins Pass, just around this bend here, around this tree. This is where all the fishermen hang out up here. Oh, look at this, got some shells down here. Pretty creative. Well, hopefully we won't lose our signal here. Let's see what happens. <coughs> oh. Hmm. Excuse me. I don't think I want to be hanging around up here too much. I don't know how the fishermen can stand it. There's a pretty big sand castle over here. Take a quick picture, hang on. Okie doke, I am back again. I'm glad I saved that old whelk shell. I knew I picked it up for a reason. fishermen out here despite the red tide. Didn't see many shells this morning along the beach. The shells are still out in the water here. There's a dolphin coming up out here, people are watching. It's pretty far out. It just came up right out in here. Let's see if we spot them. It'd be hard. see him. He just, just kind of stuck his fin up out of the water here a little bit ago. Aren't those colors beautiful though? The greens, the blue. <laughs> What'd you catch? Oh, nice. That's a nice one there. <laughs> That's for the picture. Beautiful. <laughs> Where is that dolphin? This is Wiggins Pass here. This is the mouth of the Coquihatchee River. That's looking east up the Coquihatchee.
That's Barefoot Beach Preserve over there on the other side of the pass. There were some dolphins swimming around out here, but just never know where they're gonna pop up. I don't know if they went back up river or if they went out into the Gulf and are making their way down the beach. You never know. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. All right, sorry about that interruption. Well, let's make our way back down the beach. Oh, here's a turkey wing shell right down here. Here's a nice little turkey wing shell. Well, that's a great looking turkey wing. Real obvious from this one why they call it a turkey wing. At least it should be obvious. The turkey wing. Hey buddy. What you looking for? There's a little piece of worm rock down here. I always like picking that up and showing it to everybody. The worm rock. See the little worm tubes there? There's a little slipper shell down here. And flip it over, see how it looks like a little shoe? A little slipper. The slipper shell. For those of you just joining us, we're up in North Naples at Wiggins Pass. It's at the north end of Collier County, Florida. We're in Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. We do have red tide. So people with allergies probably shouldn't come out to the beach. But when you look at the water, look at that water. Looks beautiful. You, think you can swim out here, it's not gonna hurt you. Isn't that beautiful? You can look, it's like pan around here and tilt up. It's looking north up our coastline across Wiggins Pass. If I zoom in, You can see the condos all the way up along the shore, all the way up through Estero, up to Fort Myers Beach. I don't know why we lose our signal up here. I'm on Sprint here and we have no Wi-Fi. And every once in a while the signal just drops out here. That's Laley. All in there, Lele at Barefoot Beach, those condos there. That's Barefoot Beach, that's a nice look up Barefoot Beach. 6,200 feet of beach there. It's a lot of beach.
from the last parking lot at Barefoot Beach. It's a good half mile walk down to the end of the beach over here. Some good shelling out down there though. And it's usually pretty isolated just because it's such a long walk. A lot of people uh, beach their boats over there. That's how they get to that beach. You see a couple people walking. Isn't that beautiful though? It's so natural, all natural. Definitely high tide though. At low tide, this spit of land here. Well, I'll see if I can get my finger up. It's hard to right in. Oh, sorry about that. Come on, focus. That spit there goes all the way out. You'll see it, the beach goes all the way out to where those waves are breaking. Here goes some fishermen heading out the pass over here. Little small boat. Somewhere. Where are they? There they are. Take a quick picture here, and then we'll head back down and check in with Roy. There's an osprey flying up overhead, flying right up over me. There he comes again. I don't know if you can see him there. There he comes. He's just circling around above us here, looking for something to eat. Just dove into the water. Got himself a fish there, see it? Just dove in and got a fish. That was very cool. Very, very cool. Still got it. That was neat. Coming back around over here with the fish. 
Yeah, it looks like he's going over to Barefoot Beach. That was neat. I hope I caught it. I hope you saw him dive in and get the fish. There's another one. All right, well, we had a huge disconnect there. Thanks to Sprint PCS and their horrible service. I was up the beach watching a couple ospreys doing some fishing when we lost our signal. There's a look up the beach. Isn't that beautiful up there? Up towards Wiggins Pass. I'm making my way back down the beach, back down to where we started. Gonna check in with Roy. See what he has to share with us this morning. Nice little breeze blowing now. Oh, here's a nice little fighting. Here's a nice little fighting conch shell that was on the beach. Florida fighting conch. Such beautiful shells. Whenever you pick up a shell on the beach, always remember to check inside, make sure there's no living animal inside before you take it home. If it's alive, leave it at the beach, set it back out in the water. Don't throw it, just set it back in the water if you can. This is a nice shell right here, Florida fighting conch. Very popular shells, the fighting conchs. Very common here along the beaches of Southwest Florida. Here's our shell tree. Again, this is this one here has the most shells. This is up in Area 5 at Del Norwegens Pass State Park. Look at all those shells. For those of you that aren't familiar with this here, they, people hang shells. A lot of folks hang shells in memory of a loved one that's passed away. Some hang them as a decoration. Sometimes they hang them and make a wish or say a prayer. But a lot of these shells have been hung in memory of someone that's passed away. When you're out here at the beach, be sure to hang a shell for whatever reason you want. Take a quick photo, bear with me. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> coughing. <coughs> coughing here from the red tide. There are some dead fish washed up on the beach today, so not a very pretty sight. A lot of catfish on the beach. Not keeping the people away from the beach though. However, if you've got allergies, I would not suggest coming out to the beach. Well, that wind is really blowing in my face now. Right straight at me. Woo! Beautiful colors though. Look at that water. The greens, that emerald green of the Gulf of Mexico.
good look down the beach. Looking south. Those condos, that's the Park Shore area of Naples. Condos on the right. That's a good look at the beach here at Delnor Wiggins. You can see you know, how there's no homes or condos along the beach in the state park. It's all trees. Hard time seeing this screen here on the camera with all the glare in the background. I did hang a shell for our friend Tammy earlier in memory of her puppy. There it is, hung that whelk shell for our friend Tammy. shell was in memory of Tammy's long long time friend her pet dog she's putting that down her pet dog she's putting her her best friend down today that is so sad We really didn't see a lot of shells during this morning's beach walk. We were at high tide when I came out this morning. The tide's slowly going out, so most of the nice shells are still out in the water. Look at all the little sandpipers. Boy, it is breezy. Man, oh man, oh man. Feels good though. Sure, it's really loud in the camera. Give you a look back up the beach here. Boys are having fun.
One of the great features of this park is just behind all these trees, there's a nature trail that pretty much parallels the entire beach. And all along that trail are picnic benches, barbecue grills. It's a great place to come out and spend a day with the family, have a cookout. We're getting close to our friend Roy here. We'll go check in with him. See if he has anything profound for us this morning or any words of wisdom. Or something funny to share with us. You just never know what's going to come out of Roy's mouth. Roy is our 93-year-old beach friend. He doesn't know how long he's been coming out here for been quite a while but he's out here just about every single day he's 93 he's a World War II Korean War veteran he was in the Navy boy that wind is incredible here usually find Roy. He's not out here on the beach. He's up under the pine trees. The north end of Area 4. There he is. Sitting there with his book. Pretty interesting, huh? Hey, Rob, how are you doing? <laughs> Is that shirt paying off for you this morning? Yeah, yeah, the shirt worked out quite well. That's awesome. Got a lot of hugs, huh? Yeah, yeah, good morning. You need to make another trip down the beach with it. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> when you find something that works, stick with it. That's what they always say. That's for sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so what's new, anything? Oh, everything's new. Everything's new? Every morning is a new day. <laughs> so did you get rid of all your carpets? Yeah, I sure did. All right. I hope everybody else followed followed the good advice. I think they did. <laughs> Those nasty carpets can definitely trip you up. Yeah, don't want to get tripped up and end up in the hospital over a goofy thing like a little carpet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hit the farmer's market yesterday? Yeah, I did. It was great. Got a lot of good oranges. Yeah, it was wonderful. That's good. That's good. That doesn't, they, that'll be probably shutting down pretty soon, huh? Oh, really? I didn't know. That, don't they close that in the summer? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it's just, see, every, a lot of things here are just seasonal. Huh, huh. Well, it's fun. The guys are all very friendly. And, yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. So you think of uh, any words of wisdom for us? A well, thought for yeah, the day today? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, it's pretty, pretty vital word of wisdom. And okay. It, it came to mind uh, last night. Because, um, like I say, after the concert, uh, Ruth and uh, and um, uh, and her husband and Jerry, yeah, Jerry and I and and the other some other ones went out for lunch, dinner, 
And uh, Ruth was telling about way back when, when she was young, how she was in a terrible car accident and got all cracked up and uh, mm. had to spend a lot of time in the hospital and getting organized and, and still bothers her, etc. And what it was, was uh, somebody ran a red light and broadsided her. Mm. And so my, my thought for the day is, even though you've got the right of way with a green light, watch carefully because there could be some oaf that, that either is uh, DUI or else he just doesn't know what he's doing or he's Day talking dreaming. on his phone yeah. or some goofy thing and he doesn't see the light and he's tearing along at a high rate of speed and bams you. Even though you got the right of way, you're still crippled up. There you go. And what, what makes me think of this in the maritime rules and regulations, mm -hmm. which I studied out to get my master's license from the Coast Guard. Right. Okay, they address that situation involved, of course, with ships. Right. And there's all kinds of rules and regulations about which ship has the right of way. You know, the vessel being overtaken has a right of way over the overtaker, and the vessel, I think, the starboard and when sailing the vessel that's on the starboard tack, right away, okay. There's a, and, a, uh, and of course, there's towing situations, right. and et cetera, et cetera. A lot of rules and regs which uh, has a right of way, which is important, so there won't be collisions. They have a rule that specifically states, and this is what I think people should do on the traffic. Uh -huh. The rule in the maritime law specifically states, if you're the privileged vessel, but the the other, but the other vessel who is supposed to be um, subordinate and getting out of the way, if they don't get out of your way, you get out of their way. There you go. It specifically states that. It's one of the rules of the road. Well, it's if, kind of common sense. Well, it's common sense, but this is a rule of the road. You don't, if there's going to be a collision and he isn't um, performing properly, right. you get out of his way. Right. And that's the way it should be with traffic. If you got the right of way, which is a green light, and the other guy isn't honoring your right of way and tearing through the red light, you get out of his way. Right. But that isn't the rule of the road in traffic, but it is in the maritime. <laughs> so you see how important it is. Of course. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that's the rule. So what I'm going to do, I usually try to do it, but I'm going to be more careful. When you come to a green light, instead of roaring through, you kind of slow down and look around and see if there's some some oaf that isn't obeying <laughs> the, the, the rules of the road. Yep, yep, good advice. Always be on the defense. Because that otherwise, like, like happened to her, she got slammed into a yep. broadside and man, that was, she almost died. Yep, we got a lot of crazy drivers down so here. Why, why exercise your privilege if you're gonna get killed for it exactly <laughs> just back off yep good advice roy well that's uh, drive defensively and use it just because the light's green it doesn't mean go just tearing through you it. got the right doesn't mean you're not going to get killed exercising there you go. your right you got that right <laughs> we down here we got bicycles all over the roads too and they're always popping out in front of you yeah all they? the time they, yep. they seldom obey the rules of the road the bikes are supposed that's, to but they yeah. seldom do. They've got total disregard for the, the rules of the road. Yeah, they think sign. they own it. Once in a while, at stoplights, they stop if the cars are yeah. busy going the other way. But even stoplights, they go right yep, through. Yep, stop signs, stoplights, they blow right through them. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of people get angry with that. <laughs> but if we ran into a bike, guess who'd fall? It would yeah, be. exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so why well, have all those problems? So there's your serious thought for the day. Now let's let's have a little laughter. Or you got something to give us a little chuckle here? <laughs> well, <laughs> I hadn't thought of a chuckle except I'm always chuckling. I love life so much. <laughs> you always got a smile on your face. Well, you know what's, what's going through that brain of yours? <laughs> well, you know what's a real thrill is watching the submarine races. I do <laughs> I do a lot of that. Yeah, and it works out really well. I was watching them earlier this morning. Yeah, it's, it's pretty really fascinating. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to do much preparation for it either. You just oh, yeah. you're running them all the time. 
And people don't realize how many are out there. Yeah, that's right. I and mean, there's right. hundreds and hundreds of them out there and racing it, right now. And it's glorious to see us nosing out, nosing out the Soviets all the time, too. <laughs> the Soviets, the yeah. Chinese, the Koreans. Yeah, yep. it works out quite well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Enjoy I'm, the submarine races. I'm glad we got a good bunch of subs. <laughs> So what you gonna do this weekend? Anything special? Well, yeah, this is the weekend. This is Saturday. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing something really special. I'm down here at the beach <laughs> talking different. to my old friend Rob. Something different, huh? Yeah. <laughs> something new. Talking to my old friend Rob, yeah. who I've been seeing in a few days. That's always a delight in life. Well, you're talking to the world right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna be Jenny's coming down later on. We're gonna take some swims together, and you got so that'll be good. If you can breathe out there, uh. Well, you know, there's a little red tide, unfortunately. Yeah. I got a couple good whiffs of it up yeah. at the end there. Yeah. It's it was a, really windy and strong. It's fish again, and it was kind of burning my eyes. It's too bad about yeah, be that darn red tide. It can't be good for you. Well, it kills <clears throat> the fish. <coughs> I threw up my throat right now. Gosh. But that's life, you know. The, yep. The old take, algae likes to eat too, just like we do. You got that right. <laughs> we just take the good with the bad here. Yeah. Still beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day. Oh boy, that wind is perking up good. It is. Look at that wind now. That it's wind come is up. really blowing. Yeah. Did I you did, see? Did you see some? Uh, well, a dolphin. Dolphin. No. Nope. One. One popped up, and that was it. And yeah, that's what didn't I didn't see him anymore. Yeah. Down at Wiggins Pass, but that was about it. Yeah. Well. What you reading? Still reading that book? I'm the just same one you're finishing it up. It's really good. This uh, mountain guide, his whole life. Seventy summits. Yeah, and he he guided people up Everest, all over the world. He guided people, and he was really good at it. Wow. And then he had like, quite a few adventures, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, you have a great day. I hope you get lots of hugs. Free hugs. I did. From the chick magnet ladies, right here. Free hugs from the <laughs> chick magnet. So come up here, the North End Area Forum, get your free hugs. <laughs> they won't be free forever, just over the weekend. <laughs> no, it's forever. Yep. Oh, no, no. Forever in a day. It's a dollar a hug during the week. I think so. I'll give them a discount. Come on, I want to be your manager. <laughs> I'm going to be your agent, right? Well, you take 99 cents out of the dollar. I'll take a penny. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, I didn't see Steve out here this morning. <laughs> Did you see that whole his, can, his full, of can full of pennies he found the other day? That I was can't believe it. That was a lot yeah. of pennies. I wonder, if he's, I wonder if he's counted them out yet. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe there was a rare penny in there. Maybe he'll get lucky. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you have a fantastic day. It's always good seeing you. Great seeing you, Rob. Everybody sends their love. Oh, it's love coming you, across the screen. Okay, I will do that. All right, Roy, take care. How's your work going? Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Look at that water. Although we do have a red tide. Our osprey nest. There's a photographer here. So how she can hold that still in the wind here. I'm taking a picture of the osprey nest. I heard them chirping up there, seeing at the top of the tree. <coughs> Excuse me. The red tide, this wind is really kicking up the red tide now. There's the nest. I don't see the ospreys yet. There is an osprey up there.
walk down the beach just a little further. Uh, whoa! <laughs> the wind just totally blew the camera around here on the stabilizer. It's really picking up. Quite a few dead fish on the beach this morning. You can see some of them right down here. Some of the dead fish, a little one over here, big one there, big catfish. Another one up there. That's all from the red tide. Boy, the wind is really tossing the camera around here. Whoa. The gimbal is not working in the wind. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to sign off here. I hope you have a great Saturday wherever you're watching from. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Be sure to like and share them. Remember, nobody pays me to be out here. I love coming out here. If you want to make a little contribution, if you like what you see, always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post in a little while on the replay of this video. Again, have a fantastic day and thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.